Happy Halloween, guys. So I just got home from trick-or-treating with my kids, and I have some trick-or-treats of my own because a package from Ravishing Lather came in today, and I want to go over it with you guys. Now, my face is kind of melting off, so, you know. So right off the bat, we have a card. I did share this on my feed, but I just want to go over it with you guys again because she is the sweetest. And this card states... Carrie, hey girl, I hope this letter and package find you well. I have included some extras for you and your daughter. Please enjoy it all. I even included some of your favorite candy. I am excited to see your reviews and post XOXO. Let me tell you something. This is such a sweet card. I love her so much. She is such a sweet woman. And literally, it warmed my heart today. So I want to personally thank her so much. It's so sweet. Now, we have one bag with tons of candy. We have another bag, tons of stuff. And then we have a big giant bag full of stuff. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new. What you just seen was a little preview clip of Halloween night. I started to unbox Ravishing Lather over on my Instagram page and on my stories. So if you follow me there, then you had already seen it, hopefully. Ravishing Lather is a new company to me. I've been following her for a while. However, this is my first package from her. I cannot wait to get more. Like, she's amazing. I also want to publicly congratulate her because she just had a sweet beautiful little girl her second daughter so congratulations to you Sherry and your family so Ravishing Lather is amazing and Sherry is incredible and we have quite a few products to go over and the first product that I am going to share with you guys is a soap that she sent my baby girl Kylie so she sent Kylie a soap to help her with her eczema and this is called the Herb Luscious Soap and it, it's not very fragrant because obviously I think it's for sensitive skin. You can check out all the ingredients and as you can read, this is a 6.81 ounce soap. You can pause it and read the ingredients if you would like. Kylie does like the scent. This has like an almond scent, but there is almond oil and grapeseed oil, um, sunflower seed oil. So this is a beautiful soap. I cannot wait to try this on Kylie because during the winter, her eczema really pops up. So I wanna personally thank her for thinking of my baby. So I can't wait to try that on her and Kylie's so excited to get a soap and try it because she likes when she can find something that she can use. It's really sad because, you know, Kylie, the dermatologist and pediatrician kind of deemed Kylie from Babs since she was three and she's only nine. So during the summer when her eczema is not bothering her, I do allow her to take a bath and I do treat her. I just think it's so unfair that a child cannot bathe and have fun in the bath, but I also want to make sure that I take proper care of her skin and make sure that she does not flare up. So if anyone, well actually when people think of her and or let me know that they have products for her, I jump on it immediately and whenever anyone thinks of her and sends something just to help her out, it warms my heart completely. So I just want to thank her so much because that is awesome. Now, we got three bags, three sachet bags, and the first product we're going to go over is, let me find it here real quickly. This is the Charmed Witches Brew Cauldron, and these beauties, let me kind of, we have two charms. This one looks like a lightning bolt. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I can't see it. And here we have a cauldron. These smell amazing. The labels are right on the bottom. And now let's just read it and go over it very quickly. So the Charmed Witches Brew Cauldron Bath Bomb is three to four ounces. It's scented in warm notes of pumpkin, chai. This multicolored bath bomb will turn your water into a Halloween dream. Ooh, yes. I do smell that this is uh, has a little bit of pumpkin, but it's not like, I, it's a light, light, light kind of cinnamon to me. It's not strong and it has a little bit of sweetness to it. This is probably one of the best pumpkin scents I've ever smelled to be quite honest with you. 
Now I'm gonna move these back a little bit and I love the charms on these, so cute. I will rock them all day. It states it's multicolored too, so I cannot wait for that. Now the next product we have, we also have two of, and just so you guys can see, this is a huge sachet bag. Like, this, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna hold on to this giant mammoth sachet bag. So the next product we have, again, we have doubles of, and this one is the Blood Bath Bomb. I don't know if you know, but your girl loves a good blood bath. And again, we have two of these beauties. And this is another three to four ounce bath bomb. It's scented with warm notes of incense and amber. This creepy bath bomb will turn your water blood red while leaving your skin silky smooth. I do smell, this, this smells incredible. I can't explain to you. And there's like a little puncture in the paper. But oh, it just, it, this smells incredible. I smell the amber, I smell the incense, and it just smells so good. I'm in love with this scent. I cannot wait to throw these in the bath. It, it really smells so good. Now, the next up, we have the Wicked Bubbling Bath Salt. Look at this. That green is beautiful. And it comes in a nice little Ziploc bag with labeling on the front. And this right here is five ounces. It's scented with orange, lavender, lemongrass, pine, and patchouli, one of my favorite scents. And it says your inner zombie will be delighted. This is a karma type of fragrance. Now, I have never tried Lush's Karma. I know, I know what is wrong with me. So, yummy. Oh, that's what karma smells like then sign me up for it. I, I smell the lemongrass, I smell the lemon, and I smell a little bit of patchouli. But to me, this has more lemon and lemongrass in it. It's got a very refreshing scent. And I'm living for it. So I'm just gonna move my little spiders over here. Always in the way. So the next product that we have, oh, I, can, I should just dump batch it back. There we go. The next product I have right here, this bad boy, do you see the shimmer? Oh my god, it's gorgeous and I love the bright yellow. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, this smells like a starburst, like a lemon starburst. It smells delicious. So this is the full moon bubble bar. This is three ounces and it creates a lavish bubble bath with our fresh lemon rebeta infused bubble rounds packed full of sparkles and citrus goodness for you to have no choice but to relax. The emerging blend of grapefruit and orange will create a bubble oasis. Yes. Oh, I could sniff that all day. This, ha this, this is one of my favorite products. I can't really pick which one is my favorite product so far because I'm kind of Lee, I'm kind of Lee, kind of Lee. That makes, is that even a word? <laughs> I'm kind of obsessed. So the next, we have another double. I'm obsessed with this, guys. I'm obsessed. We have two. Two. Look how cute these are. The Haunted Bear Donut Bath Bomb. And they glow in the dark. Do you see all the little bears? Okay. Like, seriously? This one has a little slice in it so I can smell it. So I'm going to stick that one right there. It smells so good. So this one right here is three to four ounces. It's scented with warm fudge and diffused with cocoa butter. This multicolored bath bomb will turn your water into a magical oasis. It says hold under the light for 15 seconds for the glow in the dark effect and add to warm water then soak. So again, this glows in the dark and it has, I didn't know it had multicolors in it. Oh, I cannot, but I do say, I do see there's some blue or green. This smells delicious. I definitely smell the chocolate. It's really, really good. Like, oh my God, that's really good. I cannot, cannot wait for that bad boy. I really, really can't. <laughs> I'm so excited about these products. And then we also have the Rotten Hemp Soap. And this is another, it's right here on the back. But these are the Rotten Hemp Soaps and these also glow in the dark. These beauties glow in the dark and they smell Oh my God, they smell so good. 
these smell incredible and what do we have here so basically these are two to three ounces and they're scented with notes of berry and lavender it'll the soap will smooth your skin so again you just put it in the light for 15 seconds it does glow so when I go to demo these and cocktail these I will show you the glow effect I have tried them they do glow but it's daytime right now and where I'm at there's no way to get it perfectly dark for you guys to see but um, I just used my phone flashlight and it glowed the donuts and the hemp soap but again this is the rotten hemp soap and I smell that berry and I smell it mixed with the lavender. It's beautiful, beautiful. And the glow is incredible. Can't wait for these products. The last product I have is a poppy seed activated coconut charcoal soap bar sample. I love me a good sample, so thank you for that girl. And I do wanna share with you guys what this sample looks like. I don't know if you guys can pick up, but there's some kind of shimmers inside of it and I have I will be ordering a full bar of the soap it smells so good I can't explain to you this is one of my favorite scents out of this entire package this smells incredible the texture feels amazing and again this is her poppy seed activated coconut charcoal soap bar sample so it does have a long name and if you're noticing this like if you've seen that right here, that's just a stupid little tattoo from Halloween and on my hands as well. <laughs> but yes, this smells incredible. So she has some, she has this little honey bear container with this gold shimmering bubble bath. I can't wait to get, she's got so many soaps. So this is the entire order from Ravishing Lather. We have our what was this called again this is our herb luscious soap for sensitive skin and then in the back we also have our charmed witches bubble cauldron bath bomb then we have our blood bath bath bomb we have our rotten hemp glow in the dark bath bomb we also have our Haunted Bear Donut Glow in the Dark Bath Bombs. Then we have the Full Moon Bubble Round Bar. We also have the Wicked Bubbling Bath Salt. And then we have the Poppy Seed Activated Coconut Charcoal Soap Bar Sample. Almost forgot, guys. As I'm going through all of these products, there is one last product that I almost forgot. I cannot believe that. And I do have something else to share with you after this. So this right here is called Christine's Fabulously Creepy Jelly Soap. Look at this. This smells delicious. I love the little pink and look at it jiggle. So this is a jelly soap and, ooh, I love the jiggle. I do. This was named after someone in our bath bomb community. Her name is Christine and actually she is one of my New Jersey sisters. She actually went to the same school as me and she lives where I used to live and grew up. It's crazy. She lives like 20 minutes away from me. And we went to school together, but we cannot remember each other. Um, she is on Instagram, and she does a lot of demos and uh, inner stories and on her feed. So this was named after her. The texture on this feels incredible, and I just love playing with it. So yeah, we have this beauty. And that is it for our Ravishing Lather order and our whole entire package again I love everything in this package I can't wait to go over it with you guys more so in demoing and cocktailing because we have more Halloween stuff to go through Halloween's not over for me just yet because we have two full weeks of it here up on my channel so if you are not prepared to say goodbye to Halloween and you're not ready to let it go then you don't have to because we're still doing it over here <laughs> next I have something to share with you. I also want to just let you guys see that she included my favorite candies. I, I love Reese Cups, but I'm also a huge Tootsie Roll freak. And I love my caramel apple pops. And the girl spoiled me. Like, look at all this candy. Who doesn't love a good bath bomb package with goodies and candy? Also, just so you guys know, just celebrated eight years. Anniversary, eight years. 
and I have quite a few gifts that I'll be going over with you guys that was ordered for me summer surprises one I did know about and it came in I believe yesterday I ordered this off of Etsy and this is fabulous this will be my decorative and also chopping knife it is a Freddy Krueger knife and I'm obsessed as I stated before you guys know I love my horror plus I love Freddy he's my man and if you guys have heard the story of me tell you before that my children's father when I first met him I couldn't for the life of me put my finger on who he reminded me of and it was Robert Engling I literally looked at him and I said you look like Freddy without the makeup and my mother said to him have you ever heard that and he was like yes I've heard it a lot so <clears throat> excuse me I've always had a thing for Freddy I love him he is the man of my dreams and nightmares and look at that face baby look at the face so I love this I couldn't wait to get it um, I will be ordering more of these from different sellers I found quite a few because some of them are only for decorative use and others you can use so I believe this one I'm gonna keep for decorative use but I'm going I don't know if I'm gonna use it as my chopping knife just yet <laughs> But I do need a chopping knife, and I'm going to use this, but I also want to get more for decorative use. So, guys, this is my Ravishing Lather unboxing and my new Freddy chopping decorative knife. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed my little Halloween clip that I added in the beginning there so you guys can see my Halloween costume. If you have been with me for a while and you've been here since last year, thank you. I love you so much. I made a vlog last Halloween. You guys got to see us running around our area with the hot dog guy and the lemonade and my outfit, which was exactly the same outfit as this year. It just looked a little bit different. I definitely took more time last year, and this had more of a scabby, bloody effect to it. So yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed the beginning of the clip. I hope you enjoyed this entire video, and I hope that you check out Ravishing Lather. All of her information is going to be linked in the description box and in the cards. She doesn't have an Etsy shop, so her website will be linked in the description box. When a company or a shop does not have an Etsy shop, they have a website. You can find them in the description box down below. All of her social media and her website will be linked for you guys in the description box, and you can also follow me and find me on my social media, which is linked down below as well I highly recommend Ravishing Lather I definitely can't wait to show you the golden shimmering teddy bear bubble bath I, I just I really need that in my life I need that so bad so I will be ordering that very soon and I will be bringing it to you guys to share it with you if you haven't seen it and if you haven't heard of Ravishing Lather here she is I will have more for her in the future and also these demos coming up soon so yes go check her out on Instagram go check out her website make an order you will be in love I love these products I can't wait to order more yes also coupon codes for two shops of mine down below CAT has just come out with amazing waffle Care Bear bubble bars so you can get 20% off use the coupon code down below and again check out Ravishing Lather she is on point and um, yeah all information linked down below also check out the cards of your videos and the 22nd end mark of this video if you want to see any other Halloween videos if you've missed any I love you guys I hope you're having an amazing day let me know how your Halloween was let me know what you guys did let me know what you were dressed up as and if you want to send me any pictures of your Halloween costumes you can do that you guys did that last year and I loved it loved it we actually had a giveaway for a questionnaire I did a giveaway last year around Halloween and uh, my girls picked the second winner and I randomly did a name picker so that was our first ever giveaway around this time last year it was for Halloween and the question for the second winner was you know what what was your most horrible or best Halloween costume so this is not a giveaway but I'm just wondering what was your favorite all-time costume what's the worst costume you've ever had let me know down below in the comments I love hearing from you guys it's always fun and let me know what you think about the knife and of course these amazing Halloween goodies I love you guys thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you all later